Hello everyone, welcome to our daily English news on Raham Rape Online TV. My name is Muhammad Bulbul and here are today's our main top stories making headlines. Djibouti Barbosi's boat deal to ease Ethiopia Somalia tensions. Somalia receives his four helicopters from Italy amid ongoing disputes with Ethiopia. Southwest forces repel Al Shabaab attack on Baydawa Island. Djibouti proposes a port deal to ease Ethiopia Somalia tensions. Djibouti's foreign minister, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, has proposed a plan to help ease tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia. The proposal suggests giving Ethiopia control of a port close to its border with Djibouti, providing the landlocked country with direct access to the sea. This could help reduce conflicts in the region, particularly around maritime rights by giving Ethiopia a way to manage its own trade routes without relying on the other countries. The proposal comes after Ethiopia's controversial agreement with Somaliland, which gave Ethiopia access to the port of Berbera. Somalia strongly opposed this deal, arguing that it violated its sovereignty. Djibouti's new proposal could offer Ethiopia an alternative to Berbera, helping to cool tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia. The plan also includes creating a new trade route in the Horn of Africa, which could change how goods move through the region. Djibouti is positioning itself as mediator in the dispute, trying to maintain peace and stability while respecting Somalia's territorial integrity. While the details of the port control are still being discussed, this proposal is seen as a positive step towards resolving the long-standing issues in the Horn of Africa. It could lead to improved relations between Somalia and Ethiopia and strengthen economic cooperation in the region that has faced many challenges. Somalia receives four helicopters from Italy amid ongoing dispute with Ethiopia. Italy has donated four multi-purpose military helicopters to Somalia, marking the most significant armies and equipment supply to Mogadishu since the United Nations lifted its army embargo on the country last year. A video circulating on social media shows the newly arrived combat helicopters stationed at Aden Ade International Airport in Mogadishu. These helicopters will augment Somalia's existing fleet which has been provided by other partner countries and is currently used for logistic and evacuating injured personnel, thereby significant enhancing the nation's operational capabilities. This military aid comes at a time of hate and tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia, primarily centered around the issue of Somaliland's status. Ethiopia's recent agreement with Somaliland, granting Ethiopia access to the port of Berbera, has been a point of contention. Somalia views this deal as violation of its sovereignty, further straining relations between the two countries. The dispute over maritime and territorial rights has met regional stability, precarious with both nations blustering their military capabilities in response to the ongoing diplomatic standoff. The delivery of these helicopters underscores Italy's commitment to supporting Somalia's efforts in maintaining security and stability as Somalia continues to navigate its complex geopolitical environment. This strategic enhancement of its military assets is expected to play a crucial role in its national defense strategy. Somali's Southwest State Forces repel Al Shabaab attack on Baydawa Airport. Southwest State Forces successfully repelled an attack by Al Shabaab militants on Baydawa Airport in Somalia late last night. The militants initiated the assault with artillery fire targeting the airport, a critical military hub in the region. In response, Southwest State and Ethiopian forces stationed at the airport engaged the attackers in a brief but intense firefight. Residents in the area reported heavy gunfire during the confrontation, although details regarding casualties remain unclear. However, Southwest Darwish forces later confirmed 
that they neutralized three Al-Shabaab militants during the encounter. This is swift and effective response underscores the readiness of Southwest state forces to defend against such attacks by Al-Shabaab militants. Following the clash, the situation at Beidawa Airport has been brought under control with no further incident reported. Al-Shabaab has not released any statements regarding the attack which could suggest a strategic withdrawal or regrouping by the militant group. Despite the ongoing counterinsurgency efforts, the militant group is attacks on strategic locations aim to create instability and fear. The successful defense by Southwest state forces, however, may serve to strengthen local and military moral demonstrating their capability to thwart such threats. Thank you for watching Raham Reb English News.